Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is an Indusit Moon washing machine, and this video will be a question and answer session, maybe? My questions and your answers in the comments below, if you please, about this machine. I don't know much about them or anything really other than it's an Indusit, and it's quite stylish. It's uh, one careful owner from new that I got today for 25 quid through the biggest auction site on eBay, on the internet. It's quite cool and I'll talk through what I understand about it. I've already put up a filter video that will appear in due course before or after this video depending on my mood. Let's have a look over here. It's an Indesit Moon 6 kilo, 1400 spin, A plus rated smart solutions washing machine. And the A plus rating is interesting because they've changed all those ratings recently. So A plus is now somewhere down around F or something because they've realized that having A and five pluses makes no sense. So they've gotten rid of the crap ones and they've moved them all up a notch. It appears on the face of it to only have four programs, 30 short wash, 30 minute, 30 degrees, a feather, 30 degrees, I presume that's delicates, a mixed load of synthetics. I guess that's like a beaker or some kind of a lab flask, 40 degrees and a you could say white shirt, 60 degrees. And if we go in here, you can see the white shirt means white cotton, 60 degrees, 1400 spin. Then the one below it, color mix, cotton synthetic. Oh, okay, that makes sense because there's a color on the stripe on the shirt. 40 degrees, 1000, easy iron. If you press the feather twice, I guess, it gives you delicates wool. If you press the feather and then the 30 minute one, up there so you press these. I don't know if you press them one after the other or together. I'm guessing together. Maybe they flash together and that lets you know what's going on or something. Um, and then a daily wash 30 and a cold water rinse. I don't know how you'd separate between the two of them. Hmm okay that's a so yeah that's the first question then. How do you choose between daily wash 30 and Cold water rinse. That doesn't make sense to me. There's a key button up here and an on off button. And I don't know if that's a button or not. I'm not sure if it is. I don't know. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. It's a SIXL145S UK. And I saw that and that's its model number, obviously. But it's an Indesit Moon. And as far as I know, they haven't made more than one of those. Now, maybe they have, but would you not call the Model number Moon 1 UK, S for silver perhaps, that's normally how they identify them. What I, what I suspect is they were working to a system they already had for numbering and that's why it's like that, but there you go. Very clean machine compared to the tat I usually bring home, given that I paid for it I guess that makes sense. In here is the filter, if I twist this gently it should kind of fall off I think, because I do it like that. There it is. It's a standard filter. It's clear that this is a different machine's chassis with a different front on it, but I don't know which one. I'll just slide that back. The door is interesting because obviously it doesn't have a soap drawer. The door is the soap drawer. And so it takes powder, uh, liquid, and I think that's fabric softener. And it says there's a maximum level there. I don't know if you put it all in and then see what happens or if you just put in the right amount for each each load. Do you like top it up and leave it or do you just, does it have its own dosing system like those modern Milas? I don't know. It's got damage here, which wasn't shown in the advert, but something's obviously melted that somehow. And I can't tell. It looks like it's rubbed off here and smeared over to here. So I think this plastic here is rubbed away and it's smeared over here. Not a big issue. It has this thing under here that pops in as if it's like a drip catcher or something, which perhaps it is, I, I don't know. Plastic door, which is always great, but that's what they make things out of. And there's me with another washing machine behind. Blue plastic door, that is what it is. Around the back, if I make my way around and move it out of the way, got it up on wheels but it's still it's still heavy like a washing machine plug waste hose some information here 
I think it's 2009, made in Italy. Does that mean it's, does that mean it's Merloni or, or what? I don't know. It's got a piece of plastic here, which presumably was for a machine that had a hot and a cold fill, because it's got a H and a C. It's cold only fill, however, and it's got this hose here. And I'll show you inside now, and you can tell me what you think that means. It has a little thing to hold the plug down there. It's got three holes punch punched in it. It's not particularly clever. Lots of machines used to have that. The top is held on with two screws, as usual, and pulls back. If I lift that out of the way, I loosened the screws previously. There's very little going on in here because there's no soap drawer. It's got the user interface thing here. There's a PCB with a data connection there, four cables, five cables. A lot of machines have that nowadays, going down to a PCB down there, similar to all the indesits and whirlpools with this plug feature, which I guess is for servicing the machine. Um, like I said, tell me in the comments if that's not right, because I'm interested to know. I think this is just perhaps a breather tube coming out to hot there, where the hot should be. It goes over there to the front of the tub. Doesn't seem to have any valves or anything on it, but normally the, the drawer itself would be a breather tube and that feature no longer exists if the door seals here. Water comes in through two solenoids, so it can dose to this one or this one or both, I guess. And that must put water through this rubber channel into the door in some way. If I put my hand under it, it doesn't, it's just, it just has that plastic thing the whole way across and some holes in it. I can have a look there maybe. I don't know how much we're gonna see here. Yeah, you can see some holes in it. It is what it is. I could show you the door rubber while I'm here. It's quite clean, but there's a bit of black there and that might bleach out. It might just be from jeans, I don't know, but it looks like it's stained. Concrete top, sealed drum, the old favorite. Bearings in it felt okay to me when I got it. It feels okay. I thought that, that paddle feels a bit loose, but it's still, that one feels quite loose, but they're still attached, so what harm? Down here, there's a date on it, 1607, 16th of July, 2009, at 35 minutes in the morning, and another number, 0907, so I presume that's 0907160078. What was the number on the back? Um, where's it gone? I can't see it there. Was it on the top? Yeah, 907 154616. So the 907 is presumably 2009, July, and then the rest of it might make sense. So two little hoses for water in, one breather hose, one waste hose coming from the bottom. Waste pump is a standard one, I think, down in the front. There's a concrete ballast I can see just here on the bottom, like a smile. Pressure filter, no, pressure sensor. Uh, week 2909, that tallies with the other bit. There's Display Smart and Simple, made in Hungary at Flextronics. Presumably that's made just for this machine, but I could be wrong. Voltage uh, mains interference suppressor there, a capacitor there on the line in. Two springs, belt, and it's a standard brushed universal commutator motor, so a motor with brushes down at the bottom. Why did I know that? I've had it on over on the side in the car, that's why I've seen that. But I'm not going to turn it over now because I'm tight on space. So, what would I like to know? Am I right about the breather? Am I right about this uh, soap thing? Somebody will know on here, somebody will have one. What would you like me to do with it, I guess? Some people have mentioned that they would like to see it and wait for me to get one, and so I've done that. But now that I've got one, there's not much I can do with it. I could do a wash with the solid door. I could, I could try. I could do a 30 minute wash anyways, but the video would look a lot like this. 30 minutes of that with a bit of noise. You tell me, what do you think, Indusit Moon? I think it's cool. I think it's in fairly, there's a bit of a scuff or something here. 
bit of scuffing on the side, but you know, from my point of view, that's clean. This is a clean machine. It's got the remnants of a sticker or something there. You see, it's, the the soap is picking up the dirt that came off of my hands from touching it. Yeah, it's pretty clean. I think the uh, front looks like it's been wiped with a chemical or something. It's got a bit, you know, but you could polish that out if you were crazier than me. Okay. Plenty of comments, please. The history of these and anything anybody knows, tell me about it in the comments because I really would love to know. I've had my eye out for one for a while. Found one working, which is kind of neat. What would you like to see it do? I might play with it a bit if you want to see me play with it, but... You know, where it goes after that is kind of hard to know. So, and yeah, how do you program, how do you, do you hold them together or do you press one after the other? And how does, how do you differentiate between cold water rinse and daily wash 30? Can't quite figure that out. Right. Loads of comments. Thanks for watching. See you later.